in today's video i will be explaining to you what this lens is all about it's a canon efs zoom lens efs stands for electro focus short back focus it has gotten a stabilization right here that means if you turn on stabilization when taking a video when taking a picture it will be able to stabilize any little shake but this is not guaranteed so make sure you always turn it on especially when you're taking photos or you are taking videos that maybe you'll probably be working with the camera we also have here af and the mf af standing for autofocus and mf standing for the manual focus with the af that is the autofocus means the camera will do the focus by itself when we press the shutter button a little this is the shutter button when you press it a little inside and then the camera will auto focus that is why we call it auto focus but if you switch it to manual focus you just send this little die this way that means you will have to adjust the focus by yourself and with this camera this is what we call the focus ring the focus ring will determine how clearer the image is to your eyes when your lens is mounted on your camera you will put your one eye like this as you are turning this that's why you always find photographers they will always be doing this like this they are looking for the right focus so if you are turning it left and the image is maybe becoming more and more blurry it means you have to rotate the opposite direction so we call this one the focus ring and you will only use it when you are using the manual focus we also have here the zoom ring when you turn it like this you see that this lens is zooming zooming in zooming out so with this zoom lens you will be able to take a photo from a far away distance so you don't have to go closer to that subject or that object as compared to other lenses that means the prime lens which is a non-zoomable lens before taking that picture you will just stand at that position that you are and try to bring the image closer to your sensor then you take the picture this is a zoom lens that means it has what we call the focal length and the focal length here is 55 to 250 millimeters whenever you zoom you will get what we call the selected focal length so this icon like a small white line is what we call the actual focal length that means if you read the value that is closer to it you will get we have here 200 millimeters that means if you have zoomed this lens to up to 200 millimeters or when it is completely inside like this it means it is at its lowest which is 55 when it goes too high it means it is at 250 because this lens is between 55 to 250 millimeters we have this other lens which is also a zoom lens but the focal length here is 10 to 18 millimeters with this lens you can take a picture of someone within a very close-up environment whereas with this one you can't because you need to be further away from that subject before you can take such a photo that's why we have a variety of focal length a variety of lenses and before you go out means you will have to carry this one if you will be shooting in a smaller room like what i'm having here but if you are going to do like bird photography or animal photography or wildlife photography you will probably need this zoom lens why this zoom lens because the focal length is quite long 250 you will be able to take a photo of a lion further away that is what we are trying to explain this is what we call the lens cap this lens cap also varies so this 
other lens cap can't fit on this other lens that is why before you buy any lens cap there is a value on it or on your lens you will have a particular value that will tell you that if you are buying a lens cap you should please buy such a lens cap we have here 58 millimeters that means this lens cap should be 58 millimeters and it is also written there 58 millimeters we have one colon or two dots four to five point six that means the more you zoom this lens that value will change at its minimum the aperture will be f4 at its maximum it will be 5.6 but you can also change it when it is at its maximum it's just to let you know that the more you zoom that value will change it's not as fixed as this other lens which is f4 so the minimum is s4 the maximum will also be f4 that means if you are zooming it will stay at that level unless you change it manually so that is what we are trying to explain here stm here means stepper motors this one you cover their lens from the bottom to prevent that from entering into the sensor we also have the lens hood is to protect your lens if your lens drop down this way at least this one will hold down the shock that means your lens will be protected to an extent and we also got here macro 0 0.85 that is the minimum distance you should stay away from your subject before focusing on that image if not it won't work thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section please like the video subscribe if you are new here and share the video so that other people can benefit in the next video i will be explaining what we call the prime lens so stay tuned for more updates you can check our website amandovision.com if you want to know more about what we do thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye for now